Stand by! Fire! Fire! Our exercise here was at Gimler's live fire event. We have the uh, Mike 3 1 Alpha 1, it's a guided precision munition. We came out here, we had 12 of them to expend for the fiscal year, so we conducted a battalion fire ex. What we got out of this today, we actually managed to fire 12 rounds, and with each round, we had a different gunner and a different chief in the launcher. So we managed to train 12 different launcher crews within the battalion as well as two different battery fire direction centers and a battalion fire direction center. Fire mission! Fire, fire mission! My role is to uh, supervise the firing of the launcher and supervise the crew with it, uh, within it. To fire, we have to load up a live pod, which is about a eight minute process if you're slow. Um, then we load up into the cab, get comm checks with FTC, make sure our decoms are up and our voice checks are up punch out to the box drop point and uh, stand by for a mission there. Once we get it, process it either uh, digitally or through, through voice uh, communications. Uh, make sure it's safe and within uh, the, the tolerances. And once it's good, uh, we'll just wait for the uh, fire command. Once we get that, flip the switch and send the rocket down there. <laughs> Firing actual live rockets is it's important because normally we just have a, a, a brain pod that fires a simulated rocket or a simulated missile. You don't get to feel the kickback, you don't get to feel the, uh, the way the, the LM moves with an actual live pod in there because it, it weighs differently, the uh, hydraulics react differently. In the Marine Corps, they're an important asset to have because they are long range artillery. Uh, we have mortars for short range, cans for medium range, and these for, uh, for, for long range and for targets of uh, high value. So we can support anyone from uh, any kind of special ops maneuver to uh, regular ground forces. Hey, I'm the same people.